As I said previously, ChatGPT actually is a language model and as such knows a little bit of coding language and therefore some prompts that you give it, it will respond with some code. And I am by no means an expert in code, I don't actually have any real solid knowledge about it. But uh, I can show you two really cool simple applications that we can create just using ChatGPT and obviously Visual Studio. So the first prompt is going to be write a Python script and just look at what I'm typing here. As you can see there, I said write a Python script that will generate a random number between t uh, it's meant to be between 1 and 10 between 1 and 10 and then the critical part here is we want to guess the number so we're going to put a comma there and then say allow the user to guess the number before revealing it that will make it generate the number and then it will say guess a number between 1 and 10 and then you will be able to see if you guessed right so let's put that through see what it gives us and here is the snippet of code that it that it actually gave us so I'm going to press copy code here and then I'm going to go into Visual Studio just into a empty Python application and once in there we're just gonna press right click paste and you'll see that I've got that code paste it in here now and I'll just press start and you'll see there is the application running it says guess the number between 1 and 10 I'm going to say 4 because that's my lucky number and it says sorry the number was 8 and there we see our application worked so the next application is also quite a fun one I'm going to type the next prompt here So I said write a Python script for a game of 20 questions where the user has to guess the chosen object. And at the end of the day it actually gave me a, something a little bit different than what I asked for. Um, I think it misunderstood me slightly. It said the script creates a list of 20 objects and then asks the user 20 yes or no questions to try to determine which object they are thinking of. If the user answers yes to any of the questions, the script prints the object and exits the loop. If the user answers no to all 20 questions, the script informs the user that it could guess the object. And not exactly what I was hoping for, but still quite pretty cool code that we can test out in Visual Studio. So let's see if this works. And again in a blank application you can just right click and paste and when I press start there you see the application is running I'll just pull this to the center and it says welcome to the game of 20 questions think of an object and I will try to guess it you can only answer yes or no to my questions is the object you're thinking of an apple and we're gonna say no and it says is the object you're thinking of a banana I say no and this for argument says for argument's sake say I was thinking of a carrot and it guessed it I will just say yes and it says, I got it, the object you're thinking of is a carrot, and it says, any key to continue, and there is our application. So that is the second one. Now we'll move on to how you can actually use ChatGPT in Blender.